boys, as Brunswick, it's time to dismantle the HRE. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're going to be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in EU4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, we're back with the nation of Brunswick. Finally, after a one nation break, we're finally back in Europe. Brunswick is a nation located in the HRE in northern Germany, surrounded by electors and free cities, so expansion is definitely tough. We start out with this idiot over here who's a 2-2. Two Brunswick national ideas, they're kinda meh, but we do have some nice stuff. Diplo relations, diplo wrap, construction discount, and an idea discount, that's pretty good. And goods produced plus 10% is actually pretty strong, along with discipline. Wait, they're not meh, they're actually better than meh. Out of 10, I'd probably rate them a 6 or a 7, if I'm being honest. And that is Brunswick's situation in 1444, ladies and gentlemen. But what do we do as Brunswick? Well, everyone has been commenting this, so obviously I have to do it. As Brunswick, we're gonna have to establish New Brunswick over in Canada. Why did I click on Inu? But that's not the only goal. Let's not make it boring. Let's add a second goal. As Brunswick, establish New Brunswick and then form Hanover. But wait, there's more. Why stop at two goals? Why not add a third goal? After we establish New Brunswick and form Hanover, we're also gonna establish New Hanover, which is apparently a county in North Carolina. I think it's this one down here. So those are the goals for today's campaign, ladies and gentlemen. As Brunswick, call on establish New Brunswick, form Hanover, establish New Hanover. You know, after I say these goals out loud, I sometimes wonder if it's all worth it. And if you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like, it really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos like this, or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. Let's jump in as Brunswick. All right, all right, here we are as Brunswick. Obviously, when you don't play as them and you play in Northern Germany, they're a super, super annoying nation, level 3 fort, pretty good force limit, and overall a pretty strong nation that you're going to have to face with one of those OPMs around us, but luckily, finally, we are the ones that they're gonna have to face. Obviously, to form the nation of Hanover, we just need the province of Lüneburg and some other lower Saxon provinces over here, these light blue ones, but of course, first we need to get a coastline and get the colonizing so we can uh, get to New Brunswick. But first, let me do some estate stuff. Ah, it still pains me from the 133 update that we can't sell titles and seize land. Ah, oh, I'm gonna miss out on 70 ducats. Pain. All right, all right, estate stuff done. Uh, let's get a Diplorep Advisor at least, which I do have. Excellent, excellent. Let's try for some alliances or maybe royal marriages. Let's see. Hmm, should I try and get the Burgundian inheritance? Ooh, I can royal marry these guys, so that's pretty good. Um, I think I will ally them as well. And uh, I'm gonna royal marry Austria, why not? And uh, maybe we can ally some electors? Maybe we can become the emperor? We'll see. We'll see. But of course, no A to Z campaign is complete without deleting horses. I uh, accidentally unpaused. I didn't mean to do that. But oh well, it is what it is. Uh, what's our force limit? It's nine. So uh, let's get the free company too. Boom, there it is. Do we have any unique missions? We do, we do. So we need to fight Lunaberg first. I mean, why not fight Oldenburg first? I kind of want to colonize. Ah, because they're in a trade league. Of course. What about Verdun? Okay, Verdun seems easy. I'll spy on them. <laughs> are they already voting for me? <laughs> what? Oh, thank you, Mainz and Kolm. Uh, these are my relations right now, by the way. I allied uh, these three electors, Saxony, Köln, and Mainz, and I'm gonna ally in Royal Mary Burgundy, and maybe I can ally Austria too. We'll see though. You know what? Why not get four electors voting for us? I mean... <laughs> There's no downside to this, is there? Oh my god, both of these guys suck, dude. And this guy's older than this guy. He's probably like his uncle or something. Jesus. They both suck so hard. I hope I don't end up in a PU because of this. Ah, oh, an error. A 2 3 1. Wait, that's the same as a 222. Wow, actually, Austria lost the emperorship funnily enough to uh, Brandenburg, dude. That was almost me. All right, I've curried favors with my boys over here. It's time for our first war versus Oldenburg. Let's call in everyone. Yes. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh. Yes. All right, all right, war is done. So if we take Oldenburg here, it's 9A. What if we take this too? It's 34. What if we vassalize Verdun? It's 30. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll vassalize Verdun and take Oldenburg for myself and some shmoney too. All right, nice. We've grown quite a bit. Not a lot of AE. I'll tell one of these guys to uh, improve relations pretty soon. So we're looking good. Uh, who's next up on the chopping block? Maybe East Free. Why? Why, why, why does Austria always have to get involved with the player? I don't understand. Baden, Salzburg, Hungary, and East Frisia. Yes, the perfect alliance network there. Big Chin. Oh, it's um, it's uh, one of my guys. I'm the Velf Dynasty. <laughs> it's gonna be so painful colonizing with these weak rulers, dude. Like, when are we gonna get tech? When are we gonna get ideas? Uh, now wait just a minute here. <laughs> what I've done is I've allied all electors, right? Colon, Saxony, Bohemia. 
Trier mines in the planet, that's sixth. The seventh elector, Brandenburg, is also the emperor. Uh, to dismantle the HRE, I need to control Berlin. If I declare on Lunenburg, I can call in all my boys and I'll fight Brandenburg. Boys, as Brunswick, it's time to dismantle the HRE. Let's go, baby. All right, forts are up. Army maintenance is sort of up. Let's declare on Lunenburg here. Take Silly, call in Burgundy, Mainz, Saxony, and Trier. And go occupy Berlin. <laughs> and we're gonna dismantle the HRE. <laughs> ah, could this moment get any better? Of course it can, because we're gonna strengthen noble privileges. Well, <laughs> I've occupied Berlin. <laughs> there we go, HRE. Dismantle HRE. <laughs> Who knew Brunswick was such a powerhouse, dude? Oh my god, I can't believe this, man. What an opportunity, dude. I guess, um, I guess, I don't know, trustworthy allies and imperial ambition and a diplo rep advisor is enough to ally all electors. I mean, I guess I was lucky that none of them rivaled each other. Or maybe some of them did. No, I don't think any of them rivaled each other, so that's uh, why we could uh, ally all of them. Well, except for one. And we also got lucky that Austria lost the emperorship. No more HRE, no more free cities, no more crazy AE, no more 30 spy network to build a claim. Brandenburg, War Abstrade, uh, Shmoney, yeah. All right, yeah, I guess that's pretty much it, huh? Nice, AE, it doesn't exist. I wonder what kind of map we're gonna end up with by the end of the game. <laughs> I I don't think I've really dismantled the HRE this early in, a, in an AZ run, have I? Right, either way, we do need to get some uh, boats going, uh, maybe some light ships so we can colonize and stuff later. Or yeah, something like that. Hey, I actually completed a mission. Um, What do we get claims? Oh, uh, another mission? Oh, sweet. I don't really want to expand this way, but I'll take these. You know what? I don't need these uh, these small guys anymore. Uh, let's get rid of these guys. Coln. Uh, I'll get rid of them too. What about mines? Yeah, I'll get rid of mines too. Uh, why not get someone else? Who can we get? Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. I like Poland, which doesn't have Lithuania, but that's fine. And uh, Denmark too. Why not? Oh my god, Brunswick, dude. It's the most powerful nation in the game, but nobody knew. All right, bro, you know what? Let's declare on Hamburg right here. Uh, take Hamburg. Oh, good relations? No, wait. I, I don't want good relations. Um, Let's see. There we go. Okay, let me wait for a month. Okay, now let's declare on Hamburg and Kobelligerent Bremen and the Lubeck. I think I'm gonna take all three. Uh, this would have never been possible if the HRE was still alive. Let's call him Burgundy and Saxony. And boom. All right, we can actually take our first idea group. Obviously, it's going to have to be exploration, so we go exploring and stuff, uh, and so we can colonize. Uh, do we really want to start off with exploration this early? We're pretty far away. We won't really be able to explore and colonize. Eh, I guess. I don't know. Eh, I'll take it. Why not? Listen, here's another new champion of the Joust event. I know I get these way too often. We get them pretty much almost every game, man. We get them like 80% of the games. Just so you guys know, here's the console. Obviously, the command is not available in multiplayer or Iron Man. This is Iron Man. Uh, let me type something like, I don't know, mil 300 for 300 mil points. Not possible, obviously. Debug mode, not possible. Here's the achievements. I just get these way too often. <laughs> is he gonna suck, though? Is he gonna suck? That is the question. Actually, pretty good. Three siege? I'll take it. I'll take it. And these guys unconditionally surrendered. Okay, so can we do something like this? Oof. Well, actually, no, I don't really care. Um, we do want to take, well, all of them, really. I think I'm gonna take these two guys and then, uh, vassalize Lubeck? Listen. Who cares about coalitions? HRE is dismantled, bro. Let's check out AE. It's it's still really high. Alrighty then. You know I can probably form uh I can probably form Germany this run. <laughs> but uh listen, no way I'm playing to admin deck 20. Come on, bro. Listen, I'm not making anything from trade anyway. Let's tell these guys to establish communities. Well, the hundred tradition general just died. <laughs> I only had him for like five years, dude. Come on. Maybe we should start exploring, huh? I can hire an explorer now. Boom. Let's go explore. Um uh, right here let's go explore right here you know maybe there's some tiny islands like this one left to be discovered who knows i mean i don't know i've been chilling for long enough now ae is pretty low let's go find moonster take uh wait which one's better which one's better all right the small one is better call in denmark apparently <laughs> let's go i love brunswick my new favorite nation honestly all right and moonster has been beaten up as well boom 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 uh i love no hre let's take all the money too uh 44.8 uh 70 ducats all right all right uh a problem we do have is i am poor yes you know let's annex these guys i guess boom verdon being annexed yes then i can tell lubeck to ever trade oh would you look at that you can enact a government reform you have enough government reform progress to enact a reform giving you permanent bonuses or mechanics that's awesome centralized bureaucracy 
So somewhere not really doing anything here while waiting for aggressive expansion to die down. I'm not colonizing. Obviously, I have nothing to colonize. Let's go humiliate Brandenburg or something, man. Let's call him Bohemian Saxony here. Uh, sure. Let's go humiliate them, I guess. <laughs> like they weren't humiliated enough. You guys were the reason the HRE was dismantled. That's right. You here, Frederick. You're the reason the HRE doesn't exist anymore. Good job. Or wait, am I the reason? Hmm. Oh, come on, dude. 441, I was satisfied with that. Do I want a church or this? No, I don't want a 331 guy. Come on. Church it is, baby. Oh my god, a 161. What are we gonna do with this, dude? Listen, let's just say this guy, uh, he found himself in Berlin at the wrong time. You know, is it overkill to call in Burgundy of this war as well? I think it is. Brandenburg's embarrassed enough. Hey, we ate up Verdun. That's pretty nice. Seeing the real you. Uh, three, three, four. I'll take it. And I think I'll humiliate these guys, take war reps, all their money, maybe make them, uh, and some lances. There we go. Bro, Magdeburg demanded Brandenburg give them this. You know, like, uh, was that, like, uh, threat and war? They accepted. <laughs> well, you know, I'm glad you're having a nice time there, uh, Magdeburg, but that, uh, that nice time is about to end, bro. Let's, uh, let's take Magdeburg. You know, I've been having so much fun with uh, blowing everybody up around me that I completely forgot we're supposed to be colonizing. Um, like I said, we can't even reach anything to colonize, so uh, I'm just uh, pushing it here to uh, Diplotech 7 and uh, the third idea. Uh, they got declared on by Saxony too. Uh, you know, okay. What are you gonna do? Well, my ruler died, but at least I got a nice consort. 453, architectural visionary. I like that. This will speed up uh, colonization by a bit. By the way, 1484, still have uh, nowhere to explore. What's this? Oh my god, that's the most jank icon I've ever seen, dude. All right, whew, we can finally explore. North Atlantic Sea. All right, second idea group time. We only need exploration, really no need for expansion or stuff like that. Uh, let's get massive. And while those guys are out exploring, I can uh, connect myself to Lubeck over here by taking out Saxe Lauenburg. So declare war, conquest Lunenburg, can we call belligerent, we'll guess, new. Let's call in, uh, uh, the Palatinate. While Burgundy and succession fired, uh, they chose to remain independent. That's fine. I'm down with that. Ah, it's time to lose prestige and Diplorep, I guess. Time for Saxe Lauenburg, uh, to, uh, leave the game as well. Bye-bye. All right, well, I explored as much as I can explore. I still can't see any provinces I can colonize. <laughs> Let's replace that Burgundian alliance with a Papal alliance. All right, now, once I take this right here, Diplotech 7, I do think we should have enough colonial range to colonize. Yeah. Yeah, I think we will after this, boys. The time has come. The time has come. Hey, Annex Lubeck, the Hansa trade ports. That's, uh, eh, it's a map mission, I guess. Let's explore some more. Wait, do we actually see any provinces? Uh, yes, but they're too far away. Pain, I still have to wait. I still have to wait. Uh, someone has to pay for this, man. Someone has to pay for my waiting. And that someone is, uh, not gonna be anyone because none of my allies would join, but soon. Trust me, very soon. Looks like France did get Burgundy. Good job, France, but now I lost my ally. Still waiting for colonial range, so I might as well expand some more. Let's, uh, fight Death Martian. Easy. Let's get down to business to defeat the Huns. Well, that was quick. Uh, let's take this and uh, this too. <laughs> so no one is colonizing Canada. Uh, basically the things I need. Uh, let me see where exactly is uh, New Brunswick. Okay, so this is Maine. Uh, it should be like these uh, six provinces right here. So these uh, three and maybe these uh, two or three that I can't see right here. And then the other one, uh, New Hanover, is uh, kind of supposed to be this one. Somewhere around here. Hey, the Protestant Reformation spawned over here in uh, Regensburg. Let's see who's the Pope. France is the Pope. They have the not the one that uh, Cardinals spread institutions. By the time this guy dies, will have a force spawn colonialism anyway so of course we are gonna be going protestant nice okay i did just get diplotech 9 i think i finally have colonial range now uh let's see how is this closer than greenland like let's be real here boys I know uh, South America has moved up a bit in uh, U4's map, so this right here should actually be somewhere around here, but uh, no way Paramaribo is closer than Greenland. I just refuse to believe it. Either way, by colonizing a province down here, we will be able to get colonial range later to jump over to Canada. Finally, colonization. Meanwhile, I have to continue expanding, so why not make little, uh, little Dortmund here? Oh, well, who do I have a CB on then? Berg? Berg it is, I guess. 
Uh, nice. Colonialism actually appeared in Lubeck because I'm colonizing as well. Oh, that's a pretty nice event that uh, you can get as a colonizing nation. And that's just how it is, Bergy Berg. That's just how it is. What's with all these forts? Like, <laughs> like, chill, bro. Okay. We don't need that many. Finally, massive force limit and even more manpower. Yes. The problem is I'm just so poor the entire game, bro. I thought I would be making a lot more money over here in northern Germany. We got some nice cloth provinces. What more do I need? We got to do something to start making money here, boys. Uh, yeah. Oh, we can form Hanover. Nice. Well, actually, no, wait. First, we need to establish New Brunswick, then form Hanover, then colonize and establish New Hanover. So that's a, that's a bit down the line, I would say. An idea for $2.99? I'll take it. All right, nice. We actually colonized that thingy down here in Brazil. Let's check out our new colonial range and let's see. <gasps> we can go to Canada. I repeat, we can go to Canada. Let's, uh, let's go right here. There we go. In a long name province I'm not going to pronounce. Awesome. Wait, no, that's in Maine. No, no. Ah, uh, there we go. In a different long name province, I'm not going to pronounce. Wonderful. Now, of course, we do have to prepare an expedition here. So let's uh, let's build a few transports. There we go. One, two, three, four, five. And of course, we are going to build uh, a garrison to station in the new world in New Bruns. Well, I need five of them. I'll get there eventually. Ah, <laughs> uh, let's hire a conquistador. Wait, why did I build a horse? There we go. The expeditionary force has been gathered. Conquistador Ernst Ferdinand Wassmann will lead that expedition. And of course, we need to wait for the boats to finish before we depart from our main port in Bremen. Meanwhile, the people of Brunswick are working hard to chop down trees in Wolostok Ayek. And there we go. There are these guys right here. Let's uh, let's get an admiral going. There we go. And these 5,000 gentlemen can travel over to New Brunswick. Let's explore. Okay, so if I'm looking at this map online correctly, I only need these five provinces right here. So this right here. All right, nice. We do have to fight uh, some guys, but listen, we'll do that later. Meanwhile, we can uh, hunt for the seven cities in Canada. Meanwhile, back home, I'm going to ask Poland to uh, break their alliance with Mecklenburg so I can fight Mecklenburg. And let's get right on that. Let's get right on it. Take Vismar, call in Bohemia. They'll deal with Friesland. And nice. Yup, 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 yup. Ah, <laughs> that's some uh, high cooling costs right there. It's not only in a state, but Mecklenburg, Devd Wismar up to 12, Rostock, and Neubrandenburg up to 16, dude. Insane. All right, hold up. I didn't plan for a coalition, dude. Like, boys, chill. Like, I'm not going there anyway. You guys don't have anything to worry about, please. Damn, bro. I'm losing all my allies, man. <laughs> all right, now I've started spying on these guys up here so we can uh, quickly take at least some provinces over here. I won't have to colonize everything. So that's a nice bonus. Hey, we're done colonizing this. All right, so this is actually tribal land owned by Maliseet. Wait, actually, I don't need this one. I just need these two. So no need to colonize these two. In fact, I'll colonize this up here and then i'll just take these three from these guys excellent all right so yeah now i got the 20 spine work on these guys right here boom there we go um we can also take this which i will do and i'll take a couple of loans now boom boom there we go the mohawk free warriors can be hired here so let's hire the mohawk free warriors in this province over here and uh call back our little expedition so we can fight these guys hey now someone's moved over here <laughs> it's me i'm colonizing it right uh Right, I forgot. <laughs> All right, army maintenance is up. I think we can declare on these guys. Uh, there we go. Take... Wait, what do I have so many claims on them? Either way, let's declare for uh, the province they're in right now. And there we go. <laughs> and I just sieged down their, uh, well, only province. And this war is pretty much done since we only need these two provinces. Now, they may move over here, in which case we'll have to fight them again. But listen, I don't care. Oh, they didn't. Nice. So we just need this province right here and this one right here to finish colonizing. And we're done with New Brunswick. Nice. I actually kind of forgot about colonialism. <laughs> Alrighty then. <laughs> hey, I just helped out Bohemia in a war versus Brandenburg. They gave me Potsdam. Nice. Meanwhile, back in Europe, I at least got to fill out the states I already own, right? So let's make Poland uh, break their alliance with... Uh... All right, we're not allied anymore. Uh, what I was actually saying is back in Europe, you know, we need to, we need to chill. Uh, that's enough expansion in Europe, you know. Now I'm focused on making money you know colonization is going kind of slow i think uh i think i want to swap to this hey two sicilies 
Nice. Pretty good Ottomans here too. Russia formed. I don't know. Nothing is too unusual over here in Central Europe, even though I dismantled the HRE. Still looks pretty regular, although I am bigger than I would be during this point in time. And back in Europe, we can fight Kolna a bit to take some provinces that we need from them. Let's call in these two boys and let's get to it. Okay, why does France have 132,000 soldiers, dude? Did they get quantity? No, they didn't. What's up with this? How? Very unusual for them to have so much troops during this time, man. Crazy. The Ottomans have 192k. That's not unusual. And this is done right here. Let's do, uh, let's do a little bit of that. Excellent. Will another coalition form? That is the question. Of course, the previous one disbanded because I'm so powerful. I literally don't care about coalitions. I literally don't. What I do care about is scoring costs. <laughs> no. Hey, this new colony just finished up and let's send them to the final one in uh, this region right here in order to establish New Brunswick. And then we're going to form Hanover and then we're off to New Hanover. You know, I'm noticing some big nations in North America too. Look at Huron, Iroquois, this uh, Asinai Federation. Pretty nice. These guys are huge too, the Yaqui Federation. Awesome. Hey, I spun the printing press. And we can become a kingdom. Ah, prestige. Now, I'm also going to give the burgers here, uh, what's it called? Yeah, Grand New World Charters. There we go. Let's speed up the colonization by only a spoonful. And the colony in Canada has finished, ladies and gentlemen. Ah, I'm so delighted. <laughs> it actually automatically named itself New Brunswick, dude. That was sick. I mean, I guess the devs have, have to know about this. Or maybe it's that by default i'm not sure either way thank you game for saving me the time of renaming this colonial nation it is of course new brunswick and boom there we go ladies and gentlemen our primary goal or well there's no primary goal but our first goal for this campaign has been accomplished we have formed our colonial nation named new brunswick now let's complete our secondary goal we already have everything we need boom national decisions available boom form hanover yes please nice ah hanover man a really strong nation nice ideas i like them a lot construction cost discipline daft cost is great goods produced plus 10 percent. i love it fire damage received minus 15 percent is pretty strong and uh we do have some extra hanoverian missions i think which are uh to get a PUCB on Great Britain? Oh yeah, there it is. There it is, right, right. But that's our second goal accomplished as well. We formed Hanover. Now it's just time to establish the colony of New Hanover and our campaign shall be completed with three objectives successfully. Now, why did it rename itself to Hanoverian Canada, dude? It was New Brunswick, man. We gotta keep it like that. Uh, where do we customize them? That's right. That's right. All right. Let me just uh, rename this here. Uh, there we go. New Brunswick, New Brunswickian. Don't change just because I changed, okay? It's not you. It's me. Wait, now they're getting beat up by someone. What's this? They're losing to Micmac. No. Can I enforce peace? Uh, I can't. Well, boys, hopefully you don't lose. Let me let me uh, send them a gift here to help them along. Well, looks like New Brunswick didn't even need my help. They're already sieging down Micmac. They grew up so fast. Now, I renamed it to New Brunswick here, right? But in my screen over here with the subjects, it's still Hanoverian Canada. Like... Hello? The Danish conquest of Powhatan against Powhatan? What? Do these guys have exploration too? No, but I guess Norway maybe? What, what did I join in here? Oh yeah, it is Norway. Dude, if these guys destroy my colony, I'm gonna... Well, good job, New Brunswick. They even expanded without me, man, taking these two provinces over here. Ah, I'm so proud. Hey now, our colony in Chikora has grown enough to become self-sustaining. Go to... Excellent, okay. Boom, there we go, man. Chikora, not anymore. I don't think so. Now it's New Hanover. Boom. And there we go, ladies and gentlemen, our primary goal, which was to form the colonial nation of New Brunswick, has been accomplished. It is large, it is self-sustaining, even fought a war on its own, and got two additional provinces. And then, our secondary goal of forming the nation of Hanover, boom, we went into the decisions, we clicked the button, and we became Hanover. And our third goal, which was to form the colony of New Hanover, which is a county in North Carolina, apparently. And there we go, we formed another colony called New Hanover. All three of our goals, for perhaps the first time in A to Z history, have been accomplished, even though they weren't that difficult. Let's be real here. <laughs> but yeah, there you go, man. We started off as Brunswick, a nation which is pretty annoying to fight in the HRE. Honestly, this is the first time I've played as them, and I didn't expect them to be this powerful, but we dismantled the HRE in the first 10 years of the game, man. I'm in the Imperial map mode right now. You guys already know the HRE doesn't exist. We allied every elector, Brandenburg became the emperor, and we just fought them and dismantled the HRE.
HRE. Then our expansion was kind of slow, but definitely faster than if the HRE existed. We did have to wait quite a while before we could start colonizing because obviously we're so far away. We're not Iberia. We're not Britain. We can't get to the New World that fast. But listen, eventually we got to it and we established the nation of New Brunswick, then formed Hanover, then established the colony of New Hanover. We got both of those colonies up and running and we're a super, super powerful nation here in the north of Germany, man. We're making 25 ducats a month with forts up and army maintenance up. If I lower army maintenance, that's 32. If I lower forts, it's 37. Super, super strong. Lots of trade buildings, lots of production buildings. I even got a few manufactories going and we're even number seven on the great powers list. Almost as powerful as Great Britain, more powerful than Portugal, more powerful than a lot of nations in the world. And honestly, the map in the HRE didn't change that much. I expected all of these nations surrounding the HRE to blob into it because, well, it doesn't exist. But honestly, it's nothing too out of the ordinary. It's sort of looking like how it would end up maybe at the end of the game, but we got a big France, big Ottomans. Poland's not doing so bad either. Two Sicilies, Spain, Great Britain, and everything else seems pretty normal, man. It seems pretty normal, except for us, because we are the most powerful nation in the world. Who knew Brunswick could be so powerful, man? Not me. Not me. But there you go, man. Like I said earlier, all three of our goals for this campaign have been accomplished. And I'm very happy to say that this campaign as Brunswick in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Brunswick in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash the live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more A to Z videos or more U4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.